Hey, Reb here from Made Adelaide. I'm on a building site and I'm just about to have a chat with John Baxter of Own Home. And they've been building this tiny house all weekend. Let's go have a chat. Well, John, thanks for having us along. That's all right. What is it that you're bringing to Adelaide? Well, I guess um, we're halfway through bringing to Adelaide a tiny house. Um, and in particular, I guess, making sure that we do it in a way that we can involve as many people and pass on those skills to as many people and share what we learn and what might be possible with other people in Adelaide. Fantastic. So what is a tiny house? Um, it's something like this. Um, they're generally about two and a half metres by up to about seven metres long. And probably the key feature is a lot of them are on wheels like caravans is that they're transportable um, so that you can own your house and build your own house in our case without needing to own land. Um, in terms of the hurdles that you've faced, um, both bringing together people, even just on this, this build, how have you overcome those things? The biggest challenge and hurdle overall is access to land. Yeah. Um, that's no matter what sort of housing situation you're after or in the need of land, that's what's so expensive. Like this is a $25,000 project budget house. Mm -hmm. We can't spend $300 $200,000, $300,000 on a bit of land to put the house on, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So we need to find other avenues and those other avenues are not usual and they involve expenses and difficulties like that. Yeah. How can we improve the regulatory system at the moment? Um, the best thing that I could imagine would that this be that the state government would clarify what is a self-contained unit, um, what is dependent accommodation, and that they would align those rules with the sort of objectives that we know the state government has around creating affordable housing and that sort of thing. Because at the moment, councils are trying to interpret the state regulations about how they deal with things like granny flats, which is what these would ordinarily come under. And it's a complicated grey area that you can't go into with any certainty because councils themselves don't have any certainty. And in terms of just um, building today, what were some, some really important things that you found? I guess I've found and been really inspired by how you can come along to a building workshop and take somebody who's never built anything before, teach them how to do some things, and then 15 minutes later they're going to be teaching those to somebody else. Uh -huh. I mean, these people are all here for, for different reasons, and a lot of them here for the experience, and a few of them are going to be building their own tinies. Um, so to be able to see them build their housing and be successful in that in the future would be very rewarding. But the one theme that's really consistent among people is that they see how the current housing system is broken and we need to develop alternatives. Where will the curious find you next? Well, I guess if they wanted to look up sort of me and this project, they'd um, search Own Home on Facebook. We'll look up own-home.org. Um, but where they're probably best way to engage with the movement and that sort of thing, if they search for Tiny Houses Adelaide on Facebook, there's a group full of amazing people that I just happen to be a part of, and there's all sorts of good chatter that happens on there. John, thank you for having us along and um, showing us inside the Tiny House build. I can picture what you're, what you're striving for, and I think you'll get there. Congratulations. Thanks, Rem. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and share. If you know anyone who's doing cool things in Adelaide, please let us know. And remember, you made Adelaide.